Okay, so welcome to this next video. In this video, we're going to talk about something called generic macros. Generic macros is something that we have introduced in the BeerLink gateway that we did not have in the MasterLink gateway. What generic macros can do for you is that when you have a project that is pretty similar from room to room, for example, you'll have a Bang Olsen product in a room, you'll have uh, maybe spotlights, maybe you'll have some shading, you can do generic macros to replicate the programming from room to room just using a single macro. In order to do this, you need to name your resources when you add them uh, similarly. So for example, if you have shades, you put in your living room, for example, shade one. And then the, in the office, it will also be called shade one. If you have more than one shade, you can also add shade two for the living room, shade three as well. But as long as they're called the same after a similar system, it makes it much easier for you to make these generic macros later on. So this is for the resources, but that also goes as well for the virtual buttons, for example. So if you make a scene that you want to go across from room to room, for example, a lighting scene called relax. So you name them the same thing, but you'll be able, still be able to identify where they are based on the room that you select for them. So it doesn't matter that you call them the same thing, you'll still see where does this button belong by seeing which room that the relax scene is added into. So let's try to show an example. Just uh, when you add your resources, try to keep it similar because it might, it might save you some time later on when you have to do all the lighting scenes and all the commands, uh, for example, for shade uh, control, for lighting control scenes. So I'll just try now to move to the next tab, which is the macros. And I'll make a new global macro. What I want this macro to do is that when I select the relax scene, I want the lights in that room to go to a certain level. And let's say 50% for this example. So I'll call it relax scene. And I have placed it in the global area because this is a, a generic macro. So it doesn't really belong in any room. It belongs everywhere. So how do I have to do that? I have to add the event and I have to select generic. So I'll choose any area. I could also trigger and filter it by a certain area, a certain zone. But, but for this one, I want it to be generic and to be valid across the whole house. So any area, any zone, and then I'll choose any AV renderer. So whenever I send a light press, Cipher 1. So any area, it's marked by a star. Any zone, marked by a star as well. Any AV renderer, it's also marked by a star. When that receives a light 1, then what do I have to do? Again, down here, I can select that it's a generic macro. So I'll say in this one, the area that fired because the gateway will keep track of that. It knows where these products are located. So it knows that, for example, when I press light one on my event in my living room, it knows that that event is in the living room. So it knows which area that fired. It knows which zone that the command came from. And where do I want some things to go on? For example, I can choose a certain dimmer I can choose a certain shade, but I can also make it even more generic and then say any dimmer that is in that zone should be set to 50% and I'll press add. So whenever I press light one from the zone that fired, the area that fired, the zone that fired, it ma it's marked by a dollar sign here the area that fired, the zone that fired, the dimmer, any dimmer, it's marked by a star, is set to 50%. So this is a generic macro now that I can use to whenever I go to a new room, any AV renderer, I'll press, press light one with my remote control. 
it will find out where did it came from. It came from the living room, maybe it came from the office. So then I have to go to that area, that zone, and any dimmer that is added in that area will be set to 50%. That is one use of it. It could also be the well-known leaving scene. So leaving all off. <clears throat> I'll add the trigger, the event. In this case, it is just a certain button on my app. So I have added a virtual button on my global area. So that will show off up on all the rooms. It's called all off a leaving button. It's a virtual button I have added. So I'll do on a press of that. I want that it's a generic macro as well. But I want, instead of area that fired, I want any area, any zone, any dimmer. So the whole house, the whole, the whole area, all the rooms, any dimmer that's added in those rooms can be set to zero. So that means any area, any zone, any dimmer, set it to zero when I press my all off leaving button. And the same thing I can do, for example, for a shade, any shade, I will lower it. So when I press my all off leaving button, it turns off all the lights and it lowers all the shades in the house. So that is the way you can, you can easily program this. You don't have to sit and add any, all the shades uh, with a certain level. It will just automatically take care of that for you just by a single macro. Okay, so that is how you use a generic macro to replicate a lot of controls into one single macro that makes it very easy for you to program the system.